10 Best Vacation Destinations in Mexico All-Inclusive In this video we are going to talk about top 10 best vacation destinations to visit in Mexico All-Inclusive. So before starting this video like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. The Caribbean Sea and the Pacific Ocean Beach Resorts make up a large portion of Mexico's tourism sector. Some of Mexico's beach resorts were formerly communities that grew in popularity as tourist destinations through time, while others were designed from the start to be resort towns. These well-liked holiday destinations in Mexico include fine beach, clear water, and a wealth of visitor facilities and attractions. Number 10. Mazatlan. Human snowbirds frequently go to Mazatlan in the winter, much like birds do to escape the bitter weather of the north. Mazatlan is known as the Pearl of the Pacific and has 11 miles of beaches with golden sand, the longest boardwalk in Latin America, beautiful lagoons, and water sports that draw visitors all year long, but particularly in the winter. Since the ancient old part of the town continues to operate much as it did before throngs of tourists came on its shores, Mazatlan, which is located in Sinaloa province, also provides visitors with an opportunity to experience a more traditional Mexican way of life. Number 9. Cozumel. The 30-mile long island of Cozumel, which is one of the best diving spots in the Western Hemisphere, is situated in the Caribbean Sea off the coast of the Yucatan Peninsula. Dive shops can be found everywhere on the island as a result. The cruise docks in Cozumel, one of Mexico's most popular cruise ports of call, are crowded with sellers offering a wide range of items, including t-shirts, jewelry, tequila, and Cuban cigars. End of April sees the ancient tradition of the Festival of Santa Cruz and El Cedral Fair, which takes place on the southern Cozumel Island hamlet of El Cedral. It is said that Casimiro Cardenas founded this yearly celebration more than 150 years ago. Cardenas was among a group that escaped to the island in 1848 from the mainland settlement of Sabin following an attack during the Yucatan Caste War. While holding a little wooden cross, Cardenas managed to escape the invaders while they massacred other peasants. According to legend, Cardenas swore to establish a yearly celebration wherever he settled to recognize the spiritual significance of this cross. The historic Holy Cross Santa Cruz Festival is now a component of the larger festival of El Cedral, which also include fairs, traditional feasts, rodeos, bullfights, music festivals, and other events. The festivities, which continue for roughly five days overall, take place every year at the end of April or the start of May. Costa Maya Carnival one of the most significant carnival celebrations in Mexico is the Cozumel Carnival, or Carnival de Cozumel. Since the late 19th century, it has been observed as a custom, and parades fill the streets of Cozumel. It starts in February, the week leading up to Mardi Gras. The Cozumel Carnival is a custom that has been handed down through many generations and honors a variety of cultures who have sought refuge on Cozumel. Cozumel Carnival, which dates back to the middle of the 19th century, was created by young people known as Estudiantinas or Comparsas, who expressed themselves in the streets of Cozumel via the arts of dance, music, and fantasy. Number 8. Playa del Carmen. Playa del Carmen, also known as Just Playa, is a bustling tourist destination on the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico's state of Quintana Roo. The town, which was formerly a sleepy fishing community with pronounced European influences, has developed recently into a thriving resort community with gorgeous beaches and entertainment options. Playa still has a laid-back vibe and welcoming residents, nonetheless. There are several options for scuba diving and snorkeling because the Mesoamerican Barrier Reef is within a short distance from the coast. Number 7. Acapulco. Acapulco, a renowned spring break location, is set on a semi-circular harbor along the Pacific coast. The main attraction in Acapulco is its stunning beaches. The majority of the well-known beaches, including Hornos, Icacos, Papageo, and Tamarindos, are situated along the Las Costera Bay. Watching the renowned La Quebrada cliff divers of Acapulco dive 147 feet into a little cove is a must-do while visiting the city. This spectacle, which has been a tradition since 1934, can be seen from a platform on the cliff edge or from restaurants close by. Number 6. Playa Maroma. One of the top beaches in the world is Playa Maroma. 
A tranquil sanctuary that feels far, far away from the hordes of Cancun, Playa Maroma is situated on the Gulf Coast little over 50 kilometers 30 miles from the Riviera Maya. Here, travelers can enjoy both white sand beaches with magnificent blue water and lush jungles. Snorkelers particularly enjoy the beach because they may start their underwater exploration from the shore. Only visitors to the numerous resorts or the neighborhood beach club are allowed access to the beach. Number 5. Zacatecas. Visit historic Zacatecas if you want an experience away from the masses. This city, a center for silver mining, has a rich history that visitors can explore through local cuisine and cultural destinations like the Museo Pedro Coronel and Mina El Eden, a 16th-century mine with a museum of rocks and minerals, an art museum. Take a cable car to the top of Cerro de la Bufa for an extra special treat, and you'll be rewarded with stunning views of the city below. Number 4. Puebla. Puebla is the place to go if you want a holiday with lots of real character. Although there are several churches in this colonial city, which is located about 80 miles southeast of Mexico City, its most notable features are its gorgeous Talavera ceramics and its sweet and sour food. You must taste the mole. Poblano, which is cooked with a variety of ingredients, including chiles, pork, chocolate, cinnamon, and garlic, chiles stuffed with beef and served with a walnut sauce and fruit like peaches, apples, and pomegranate seeds. Go to Callahan de los Sapos after sunset to enjoy live music. Number 3. Cabo San Lucas. In the 1970s, Cabo San Lucas attracted Hollywood's elite as a posh escape from the dregs of show business. The town's somewhat gritty reputation transformed as luxury resorts moved in, both here and in the nearby community of San Jose del Cabo, as well as along the 18-mile roadway that links the two, known as the Corridor. In the 1980s, an international airport was built, making it simpler for visitors. From all around to board a non-stop flight to the Los Cabos region. Look at the expansive golf courses or opulent mansions to see why this location on the southernmost coast of Baja California is still well known for its luxury. However, the air of exclusivity has faded, spa days are just as sought after as nights spent at a bar on the beach. Additionally, there is a strong probability that you will witness college freshmen and celebutants lounging side by side on the same section of sand. Number 2. Huatalco. Huatalco is a beautiful hamlet close to Oaxaca that overlooks the Pacific Ocean and has 36 beaches and 9 harbors. Visitors can stay in premium but understated hotels, and the municipality places a high priority on environmental preservation. As a result, structures are limited to six stories in height, and a large portion of the lush natural environment is unaltered. Scuba diving and eco-tours are popular pursuits. Spend your days relaxing on the beach and dining at one of the town's many seaside pubs and eateries if you like to take it easy. Number 1. Puerto Vallarta. This is more than just a trip to a beach resort. Puerto Vallarta, often known as Vallarta or simply PV, manages to retain a small-town feel while also having one of Mexico's most distinctive and opulent ocean fronts. You'll find elegance and efficiency mixed together in the hotel and restaurant sections, and the eating options and hotel options reflect more of the same. The Banderas Bay that hugs the coast and the palm-fringed Sierra Madre Mountains that tower in the east are what most people think of when they think of this town on the west coast, but Puerto Vallarta is more than just its surroundings. Spend some time exploring the area's other attractions, such as the delectable cuisine, secret boutiques in the Zona Romantica, bars along the Malacan, and nightclubs with salsa music in the Havana style. Join one of the top Puerto Vallarta tours when you need some assistance sightseeing outside of your resort. And if you enjoy taking cruises, you'll be happy to know that there are discounts available all year long to this location. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.